Fort Trumbull, New London, Connecticut, built from 1852 to 1939, and one of the 42 constructed to protect the United States shore. Today, it is known for something else, its bountiful booty in the form of forgotten cans. But the fort will not relinquish its aluminum treasures without a fight. Enter the Santa Cana. The Santa Cana is pushed by Captain Richard Douglas and his merry crew. It is made up of steel wiring, four rubber wheels designed to roll, and a custom plastic coating on the handle where you push. The Santa Cana boasts an impressive length of three and a half feet and a weight of 45 pounds, making it one of the largest carts on the open pavement today. I've been captain this car about six years now. He's a pretty sturdy gal. Roll straight for the most part. Hit a rock leaving port in the rear. Definitely gonna have to stop and get her looked at next next market we dock at. Sorry. the greenhorn of the group. This is his first time out on the open pavement. This is my first season out. Pretty excited, pretty nervous. You know, a lot of room for error and injury. Last season, some guy nicked his finger on a soda can. Had to go to the hospital and get a stitch. You know, he made it, but it's uh, pretty tough and dangerous out here. So, you know, I gotta be careful, but there's a lot of coin out there to be made. Yeah. Green owner's okay. Green owner. He's working out all right. Working out. A regular natural. Natural. No room for slackers in my cart, damn it. No room slackers cart. Phil Bruski is the seasoned veteran of the crew. He's been with the Santa Cana since first rollout. Man, I like cans. They make me happy. You get a lot of coins and stuff for cans. Cans are cool. I ain't got no problem with them. Hey, all our vasty swabbies, we're gonna take New London and straighten them out. Phil's a good kid. I mean, don't get me wrong. The guy is crazier than a pack of rabid weasels. And he does this, this pirate thing every once in a while. But he's a good kid. A good kid. He wasn't always like this. He got nipped by a rusty tomato can. Never even got it looked at. I suspect he's got tetanus. Boys, hasn't been right since. The crew breaks for a much needed hearty meal. The cook of the crew is Sarah Kipnick. My job is to keep these boys fed. I try to change it up as often as possible, so some days I make peanut butter and jelly, other days I make peanut butter and fluff. Like I said, he's a good kid. 
A good kid. After a long and harrowing day, the crew is ready to dock and cash in their spoils. Well, I survived the season. I'm gonna be out here next season for sure. I'm proud of my guys. We did it right this season. Looking to do a little better next time out. Time to cash in and give up the coin we made. I'm all out of bread and juice boxes, so it's a wrap. Um. Next time on Recyclable Catch, the crew must overcome insurmountable odds when Phil goes 100% pirate persona. Release me, you scurvy dogs! Arr! To Davy Jones' locker with ye! And their wheel finally gives way. Damn it, Phil!